Kate Schwenke and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you guys another fun house tour. This time we are doing spring 2023 and I can't wait to share it with you guys because I have been literally working on it since January. <laughs> right after Christmas was over I started decorating for spring. So almost everything for spring this year is brand new. It's also my first year fully decorating for spring in the living areas of my house and I'm loving how everything turned out and I would love if you guys would comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing is in this entire video after we go through everything. There will also be links down in the description below for you, so if you see something that you've got to have in this video, all the shopping links will be there. So let's get started! So this is my front porch. I'm loving how it turned out. I've added so much pink into my decor this year, and I was worried that my husband and my kids would say something, but they literally, they didn't say anything. <laughs> so it's just perfect. So in my vintage Crocs over here, I put in some fresh florals. So in this one, I have some roses. In this one, I have some peonies. I love those. And this one, I have some pink hydrangeas. And I know over time, my flowers here will eventually bleach out to be a lot more or less vibrant, but it's totally okay because I love pastel pink. <laughs> over here, there is the pot that I have full of daisies every year. They probably need a good washing. On my welcome sign here, I have a little pink ribbon that I've tied. I got that from Etsy. I've been pretty happy with it. It's just the right color. Over here, I got this idea just all of a sudden one day to stick flowers in the top of my watering can because I wanted a pink watering can but then I was like mm, can't find the right color so I thought this one's fine and I have it year round anyway so I just tucked in some little flowers that my mom found on Amazon and they were just right. <laughs> I love how this layered mat turned out. So I actually got the pink one from walmart.com. It's made by My Texas House. I love all of her stuff. So I got the pink one from there. I got the gray mat actually from Amazon. And then this metal mat here. This one I got from My Texas House as well from Walmart. I think both pieces were actually on sale on their website, but I just love the look of like three mats. <laughs> so that's what I have there. Up here, I have a Daisy Maybell wreath with peonies and lamb's ear and some other greenery, and I just love it. Her wreaths are my very favorite, so I highly recommend her stuff. So pretty! So that is my front porch. So let's go ahead inside and see what else I've got. Okay, so we are inside, and Miss Emma once again wants to be a part of our video, so she is going to be hanging out. Um, this is the entryway. I love how it turned out. It's so pretty. I love all the pinks in here. I definitely pulled in a lot more pinks this year than I have in any other year that I've done. So this is this side. But I'm gonna go ahead and start over here. So over here on this mirror, I have a little wreath that I got from I'm pretty sure TJ Maxx at least two years ago, and I just liked it because it had the eucalyptus and some peonies on it. Over here on my bench, I have a love pillow that Emma, am I boring you, Emma? <laughs> she is leaning up against it so you can't really see it, but I got that from Miss Lucille's, and it's really cute. This one over here I actually got from another antique store, but I'm pretty sure you can probably find them online. It's really cute. Over here, I'm obsessed with how this turned out. I actually found this adorable handmade hat from Goodwill, believe it or not. But I just loved all of the detail with the lace and the flowers and the ribbon. So cute. I also found this basket from another antique store. I am considering stripping off all of the stain and making it more of a natural look, but I stuffed it with some flowers. It's really cute. I've also got my dog's harness and leash set over here in pink, of course. Down here on my little plant, normally this plant just has this greenery, but I actually found each of these little sets of flowers from the Target dollar spot, and I bought so many of them to stuff in here and there, but I just loved the soft pink color of the peonies, and I just thought it was so pretty. I've also tied a little ribbon on here. I wish I had a pink ribbon, but I just love bows. 
So down here, I also put my hunter boots in this beautiful seafoam color. I love this color for spring, but you guys know that I actually decorate with that color year round. I also bought this really pretty floral pink rug for the entryway, because like I said, I'm trying to bring in as much pink as possible. And I haven't had my boys or my husband say anything about all the pink yet, so <laughs> that is a plus. So let's go ahead and move on to the dining room over here. Over here in this corner, I put this little pillow that I got from TJ Maxx last year. And believe it or not, this little blanket over here is actually a table runner that I'm planning to use probably next month. There she is again. <laughs> spotlight stealer right there. So it's actually a table runner, but it, it can double as a throw, I feel like. So that's what's over there. I'm gonna go ahead and move to get some better lighting from this angle. This is my dining table, and I have this super pretty centerpiece that I got from Miss Lucille's, I wanna say like at least four years ago. And what I do every year and every season is I just take out whatever I stuff in that's extra and replace it with whatever color I'm doing. So I stuffed in some of those pretty pink peonies from Target again, and it just brings in just enough pink to this table. I also have a double runner situation going on over here. So my mom made this pink runner for me out of some cotton linen type of fabric and it is so pretty. We got the fabric at Hobby Lobby, so if you're looking for a really pretty pale pink, that is it. It's so pretty. And then I have this other runner that I got from Tuesday morning quite a while ago, but it is long and I love the ticking stripe on it. I also hung this little tote bag from one of my chairs and stuffed it with some faux roses. I got that tote from the Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago, but I just loved it and I've hung on to it. Let's go to my other hutch over here. So at the very top, I found this peony garland from Hobby Lobby and I am obsessed with it. It is so pretty, I love it. I also have a basket up there. I might have to go around from the other side so you can see it, but it is stuffed with some hydrangeas. But this is what it currently looks like. I don't go too crazy with this hutch. I just kind of put things here and there. So I put a pink mug here which sometimes hangs on my coffee bar over there. And I will show you guys that next. And then I found this super cute little bunny at Hobby Lobby, I believe. And I tied a really pretty little pink ribbon on him. And then I also tucked in this hand towel. I think I got this one at Marshall's. It's a Ralph Lauren. So pretty though, I love it. Also another thing that I did up here on this wreath that I keep here year round is I stuck some more of those little pink peonies. I just tucked them in everywhere, you guys, and I love them, they just make me happy. <laughs> but this is another look at the room from this angle. On this little hutch over here, I decided to put in some faux roses up here into the top of my ironstone pitcher. There's also a few flowers tucked in in the bowl. I have a little wreath up here that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's just the right size for that window up there. I found this really cute little basket at a local antique store, and I just loved the look of it, it's so pretty. I also have a portrait of Emma over here by Crown and Paw, and I thought this one was just so perfect for springtime. Other than that, in my ironstone hutch here, I don't really have anything else going on, but I did get a new set of beads for this little area. I found those at TJ Maxx and I just loved the color of them. So that's what's there. Here's one of my favorite spots in my house, my coffee bar. And up here I've tucked in some little flowers. They're a brighter color peony and some lamb's ear. And then on here on this side, I have some little buds. Right here behind this cow creamer, I have this really pretty little plate that my mom just bought for me. It was just the right size to go behind him. And then I also have a little iron stone with some white little florals. And then this super cute Cavalier King Charles Spaniel mug that I found online. It's vintage and I love it because it looks just like Emma. <laughs> right here, I have some anthropology mugs. The aqua colored ones are anthropology. This one here in the middle is actually from Tuesday morning. 
but it looks so good all together with all this coral over here. I also have a bushel of flowers from Target right here. This little bluebird. And everything else stayed pretty much the same, but I just love all pretty pink. <laughs> and then I tucked in another hand towel. This one is also from Tuesday morning. I'm pretty sure it's made by the same people who made the mug because it just looks perfect together. I love it. I think I forgot to mention over here, I have a basket full of faux flowers. There's some extra flowers that I had from previous years that I just didn't want to discard, so I repurposed them. Let's go ahead and move into the kitchen. It's a bright sunny day out, so hopefully you guys are going to have a pretty good look at my kitchen here. But first over here, I always have this phone up here. It is so cute. I am obsessed with it. It actually does work if you have it plugged into your landline, which I think is so cool. I found this adorable heart wreath from TJ Maxx, and I think it was made for Valentine's Day, but I just loved the look of this twisted wood into the shape of a heart. I thought it was so pretty. And then it had the pink flowers that I loved. I also replaced the covers that you guys saw in my last video for my Ruggables with these ones that I normally have most of the year on. And I really love these ones. They have some aqua, some blues, some tans. It's just the right colors for my house. So here is my coffee bar over here. I love this area. It's so pretty but I have this little bushel of pink and white flowers with lamb's ear, and I also tied on some lace onto this mason jar. There's my stir sticks on this little pedestal. Over here, I absolutely love this little mug. This one I actually found the same day that I found that hat at Goodwill, <laughs> so I just love it, it's super cute. This is the rest of the stuff I normally have year round. Over here, I have my springtime KitchenAid ceramic bowl, and I just love this one. All the florals on it are so pretty, and I tucked in another bushel of roses right there next to it, just to bring in a little bit more color. Let's move on to my island. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start here, so you guys can see a little bit better. But right here I have some peonies and they're in a little bushel over here with some lace next to my little ironstone pitcher here and I put on another one of those pretty lace ribbon bows. I got this candle from Target and it smells so good. I don't normally buy candles from Target because to me they don't have a very strong scent but this one does. This one is so pretty. I also recently found this strainer bowl and another antique store and I'm pretty sure it's made by Corel, but they're super hard to come by and I just thought it was so pretty for springtime. I also have another one of those pretty rose hand towels here that I got from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of the two. Over here I have this super pretty vase with some flowers that I got from TJ Maxx and I've got to show you guys this because it's so cute, hold on. <laughs> Isn't this adorable? I just love it so much. It's a little Ray Dunn gumball machine canister to hold candy and sweets. And these are so good. They are so hard to stop eating. <laughs> They're the Lindor strawberry white chocolate truffles. They're so good. So that is what I've got going on in my kitchen. I'm gonna go ahead and finish over here in the eating kitchen area. This is another one of my favorite parts of my house. So on my apron hook, I actually have three different aprons. I have a aqua colored one. This one I got from Amazon and I love it. I would literally wear this every day just to do chores in. It is so cute. This one is from last year at Hobby Lobby. And it has a pocket and ruffles on the bottom, which I love. I love ruffles. And this one is actually a vintage apron and it's kind of like an ivory color. Moving on to this hutch, I found this little vase at an antique store. It is so pretty. And then I tucked in some flowers that my mom gave me that she had ordered on Amazon and she had some extras. 
I found this cute little pink bunny at Cracker Barrel. I was super happy to find him because I wanted a pink one and he needed to be just small enough to put next to my hello sign. <laughs> I also found this cute little thing of roses from TJ Maxx. And I tucked in a daisy right here. I'm gonna be doing a lot of daisies next season. <laughs> and then down on this row here, I found this really cute little bushel of flowers and that is actually from Hobby Lobby. I also tucked in a pretty hand towel. This is the same one as the one over by the coffee bar and it's from Tuesday morning. On my little lantern over here, I did tie on one more pink ribbon. I just thought that ribbon is so cute. I love the color. One of my favorite things that I have in this area is my ironstone vase here. And I have a like bridal bouquet from Hobby Lobby in there, in the very top. And then on the bottom here on my Lazy Susan, this does turn, I got this ruffle placemat in pink to go underneath it, and it just really tied the room together. I love how it looked. So cute. All right, let's move on to my little table over here. Now on this tray that I got from Hobby Lobby, I have a bowl that is from Tuesday morning. It matches that mug from my coffee bar. And I filled it with some bowl filler, vase filler from Target. I thought it was just perfect. I found this piece here actually from Goodwill the same day that I got the other things. And I thought it was so pretty. It even has river rock in the bottom. So it's just a nice pop of color for over here. The cool thing about this table is that I can fill it with flowers for every season. Normally I have the boots that I'm wearing. These boots, they're really cute. <laughs> I got them from Freebird and I will link you guys down below to those as well. But normally I would keep whatever pair of shoes I'm wearing right here for the day. And then over here I have some hunter boots. But in here I've stuffed in some pretty pink florals from Hobby Lobby. And I do stuff this drawer full of flowers no matter what season, but it's always color themed. <laughs> So let's go ahead and move on into the living room. I promise we are almost done. There's just a lot to go through because I really splurged this time around and it was so much fun. I'm gonna go ahead and start on my blanket ladder. So I found this aqua colored, mint colored blanket from at home and it's really pretty. It's got these white roses all over it. It's actually from their winter collection, but I was like, hey, this is perfect for spring. So. I got that and then I also got this really pretty quilt from Target.com. So pretty, it even has little birds on it. I love it. Up here on my mantle, I've stuffed in some peonies and lamb's ear next to my ironstone. And I put in some flowers up here. I'm not sure if that's baby's breath, but I just had it on hand and I was like, hmm, where can I stick this? <laughs> and so I stuck it there but I love how it turned out up here. And then I have another pretty wreath up there with some white roses tucked in. I tucked in some more florals right here. And then on my candlesticks, I tied some ribbon. So pretty, I love that ribbon. Anything to make it look feminine and dainty in here, I'm gonna wanna do. <laughs> right down here on the bottom, I have some more pink florals that I tucked into this large jug vase. Oh, Emma's gonna come and join me over here. Hold on, there she is. Hello, hi there, Pa. <laughs> no, you're just gonna kiss me instead? She is the cutest, guys, I love her so much. I also have her little bed over here and I thought she was gonna jump into that, but I love this bed. I think I got it from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It's so pretty. Right next to that, I actually got this brand new basket. <laughs> Technically not brand new, it's actually an antique, but I thought it was so unique and I cannot wait to strip off all the stain. It's gonna be so cool when I'm done with it, but it's, it's really neat, a neat piece. And I got this really pretty bow from Etsy. All right, let's swing around here. As you guys saw in my most recent Ruggable video, I got this new rug. I think it's called the Ophelia Powder Pink, if I'm remembering right. And I've been loving it, and we've been walking all over it for a few weeks now, and there's been no dirt or anything. 
but I just love the pink florals on it. It's so pretty. On my table here, I have a little rose vase full of pink roses that I've tucked in and uh, white roses. And then I have another one of those pink runners with the ruffles that my mom made for me. And I have a magazine tucked in there as well with pink on it. <laughs> on over here, on this little couch, I have two different pillows. They're both new. This one I got from boutiquerugs.com. They were on a major sale, but the colors were just right. Had pink flowers with the aqua. And this one is actually a pillow cover from Amazon and it's like Chanel and it's so soft. My boys have not complained once that it's pink. <laughs> they think it's so comfortable. So I have both of those pillows on this couch as well. Oh, <laughs> are you okay? You just instantly make the whole couch look better, Emma. Did you know that? You did? Okay. <laughs> Guys, ah, she kills me. All right, the last thing, I'm pretty sure it's the last thing. Oh, no, it's not. I forgot this because she was sitting on here earlier, but I found this really cool pillow in pink. It's like a mauve blush color, and I got that from Burke's Outlet, but it's made by Lush Decor. And I have this vintage row blanket as well, and it's in this gorgeous ice blue aqua color that I love so much. So I think the last thing to go through is actually this. And this is the garland that was over there on top of that hutch over there, but I got two. So I really wanted this one for my fireplace, my faux fireplace. <laughs> I absolutely love this piece. It's so gorgeous and so unique. I actually found it at an antique store and I refinished it myself, but it just looks so pretty here with the pink roses. So that's it. I hope you guys love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it fun and inspirational. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel while you're here if you're new. And I would love to hear your thoughts Please comment down below about what your favorite thing was in my new spring 2023 home decor tour. Thanks for watching.